Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today we're going to be unboxing the January L crate. So yes, I do realize that January was last month, and I'm sorry that I'm filming these so late. I just, again, haven't had the time. So today we're going to be seeing what's in these guys. Even though I've been mildly spoiled a few times on Instagram, but at this point I really don't mind because I know that it's my fault because I'm taking so long to unbox them. So I apologize again. I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox Owlcrate Jr. first. As usual, I am an Owlcrate rep, which means I get free boxes every month to review for everybody. And if you want, you can use my code of Ash and get 10% off your next box. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot this one was the baking box. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, these are adorable. Okay, so the first thing that I pulled out are these vanilla scented erasers. Look at this. Look at this. They are in the shape of little macaroons. That is adorable. Oh my god. Then I have a baby rolling pin. This is so freaking cute. It feels like... I don't even know how to explain it. It just feels really cool. <laughs> Using all my baking terms here, just really cool. Is this a cookie cutter? Is that what this is? Because if so, this is super cute. It's like a little Dia de los Muertos, and it has, it's like a little shape, so I guess you can like cut it out, and then if you want, you can like put this side on the cookie and like make the little imprint of the pattern. That's really cute, I like that. Then this next one is from Sweetest Thing Bake Shop and it's just a little package of sprinkles. Oh my God. Apparently they have an Etsy shop that is so, so cute, I love this. And then we have Itsy Bitsy super cute stickers and their little shapes, their little foods. Look at it, it's so cute. And they're like the puffy stickers too, which is really cool. Guys, I love Alcrate Jr. I love Alcrate Jr., it is so cute. Oh my God, you guys, oh my God. Oh my god, it's a little apron. This is so cute. I can't show you the whole thing, but like it has a little owl on it and it has a little pocket on the front and it's so cute and it just ties around. Oh, great. And then I pulled out the little Owl Crate Junior pin. This one is just a cupcake and it says yum. And finally, we have the book of the box, and it is this adorable book called Love Sugar Magic, A Dash of Trouble by Anna Merce Mariano. This looks so freaking adorable. I wanna know what this is about. Lenora Logroño's family owns the most beloved bakery in Rose Hill, Texas, spending their days conjuring delicious cookies and cakes for any occasion. And on no occasion is more important than the annual Dia de los Muertos Festival. Leo hopes that this might be the year that she gets to help prepare for the big celebration, but once again, she is told she's too young. And then her mom, her aunt, and her four, four older sisters are bru brujas, brujas, witches of Mexican ancestry who pour a little bit of sweet magic into everything that they bake. Oh my god. And then Leo knows that she has this magical ability as well. And then she helps her friend Caroline with the problem that they need solving. This sounds adorable and it just, it goes with the little cookie cutter that they put in the box. So I really, really love that. Then we have a signed book plate from the author. Oh, we have a little note from the author. And as well as a recipe for pan de muerto mensajero. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it. Is it like sugary bread? I don't know, but it sounds really good. Yep, it has dry yeast and everything. You're like making this dough. This is my kind of recipe. The theme of the February Owl Crate is wild magic, which sounds super, super cute. Are you prepared to survive the adventure of a lifetime? Our February book is a thrilling fantasy full of courage, friendship, and otherworldly mystery. You're going to love it. Scout's honor. This book box is perfect for fans of the Wildwood Chronicles and Stranger Things. I just dropped that, but that sounds adorable. Oh my God. Owlcrate just like constantly blows you away every single time and this box was no different. This is honestly like the most amount of items that I think that we've ever received in an Owlcrate Junior, which is awesome because it was just all so, so perfect. But now we are going to move on to the YA Owlcrate, which I do not remember the theme of again. So this should be fun. Here we go. Fearsome fairy tales, that's what it was. Oh my God, that, that, oh, can you see that with the glare? That is so cool. This is so cool. Is this one of those things, you know, where like you put the candle in this part and then the flame, the light will come out of the little shapes here. 
because that's adorable. Place wax tart in top bowl and insert lit tea lit candle in bottom to fill your home with a delicious scent. Usually I just go with the box and I try to guess what all of these things are, but this time I think I'm actually gonna use the spoiler card just to try to figure out what this is. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So the next thing I pulled out are from Spireside Candles and they are these wax melts inspired by Hansel and Gretel. They look like this and I was really confused, but then I thought that they would go with the little candle holder thing and they do. So what you do is you take one of these, I think, and you put it on the top of the candle holder and then you put a tea, lit tea candle inside of the candle holder and then it'll melt this and it'll burn it. That's a very interesting way to burn scent but I mean, I'll go with it. It sounds really interesting and I'm eager to try it. Then we have the pin of the box. This one is just this little lady that was on the, um, on the postcard. And then we have this choker and on the inside of it, if you can see, it has like a little bead that has um, a quote from, I guess, Rapunzel, because it says Rapunzel let down, and then I'm assuming it says your long hair, obviously. It's from Authored Adornments, and it's adorable. Then we have what I have definitely been spoiled for. That is, bum ba da bum but um this pillowcase i'm pretty sure doesn't it say once upon a dream this is so beautiful and it's so soft too i'm like obsessed with this guys oh my goodness i hope my pillows are that big oh this is so pretty okay then there's this print i'm not sure who it's from but it's little red riding hood inspired look at how beautiful that is it's like there's the wolf there's little red riding hood that's so pretty i love this and then also, as I had already known, the book of this month's box is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, and this is a very, very different exclusive cover than Owlcrate normally does. Owlcrate, normally what they'll do is they'll change the color on the cover or, you know, something. This is a completely revamped cover. For comparison, everybody, Oh, wow, that doesn't help if that's in front of that. Okay. For comparison, everybody, this is the original and this is the Owlcrate cover. That is so cool. So The Cruel Prince. This book has been circling booktube for a little while now, ever since it came out, I think last month. Um, and as yet, I still don't know what it's about, but it's really high on my list to read because some people have been giving it really great reviews. And because I have no idea what it's about, I don't really want to know what it's about. So I'm not going to read the synopsis and give it to you. The most that I know is uh, it has fae and fairies in it. And that's pretty much what I know. And that also they are cruel, hence Genuinely, other than that, don't know what anything is about in this book, so I don't want to be spoiled for it, so I'm not gonna go into it. Included were also a uh, author, letter from the author, and this little sticker that says there's always something left to lose. And then as usual, Alcrid has been in including their little newsletter that's filled with interviews from different vendors and with the author. It looks like this this month. And the theme for the next month is going to be Hidden Worlds, which sounds really awesome. Inside the February box, you'll receive an extra large and exclusive item from Evie Bookish. This is a special item we've never included before. P.S. It's not a mug. So all in all, another great month for Allocrate. Again, I'm super sorry for this being a little bit late, but it's better late than never. Um, I did just want to give a huge shout out and a huge, huge thank you to Allocrate because next month in February, it will be my one year rep anniversary. So I'm just so, so grateful and thankful for them sending me their boxes. And I truly appreciate everything that comes in them and all the hard work that they do to put into these boxes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, if you want to buy next month's box, you can use my code of ash and get 10% off. At this point, I feel like I remember hearing that they might've been sold out, but there's always time for next month as in then a month after this. <laughs> but other than that, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you later. Goodbye.